have our auto hitch. Um, basically, as you can see, this is about a half inch uh, by four inch bar that's bent um, to a 90 degrees. Uh, we have uh, our one inch uh, bar here, and also we have our two cylinders that uh, put out about a thousand pounds a piece of force. Um, if you look back in here, we also have our lock for safety, and uh, basically our hydraulic foot holes are running into our power reader. We have our power reader box. Um, as you can see right here, we have our 12 volt battery for our power supply. Um, we have our pump with our self-contained reservoir. We have our PLC, which is controlling our EMRs. Um, we also have uh, two uh, monostable valves in there with a flow, con flow control, also it's all flow divider. Um, here we have our vision system for our reverse camera. Um, if you look over here on the side, we have our left and right up and down. We also have our home position. Um, if, you, if you look right here, what's in my hand, we have uh, basically this runs left and right and uh, up and down and then our center position also so we can run it in our cab. Right, uh, this right here is our reverse camera that we have hooked up into the pickup. Uh, let's just go back, let's go up here and look at it. You can see this is our in-dash uh, DVD player which also has a reverse camera. Um, as you can see our handyman back there, Danny, he's uh, looks like he's uh, smiling at us so uh, looks like it's working. So well, this is our SolidWorks program and it was just what we drew up before we started making it. And we have it moving on the y-axis here and the x-axis so that it's got free range and everything before we add our sensors and all. Over here you got your electrical schematic. You got your prox sensors for showing when the hitch is at the center. You got your brake, your tail light, and your push buttons for controlling it. Over here you got your EMRs. And here you got your EMRs hooked up to your solenoids, which go to your valve. And when we go to this screen, you got the hydraulics. You got the cylinders, the valves, the flow controls, the pump, the tank, and the filter. And then below, you got the electrical schematic, you got the push buttons, you got the solenoids, and you got, you got the sensors. So uh, here's our program for our molar. We use the easy soft pro, uh, software so that we can make it so that the hitch knows whether it's on the top right or the bottom right or bottom left. And then once we hit our stop four times in a row, it'll know to go to the home or the center position with those sensors. And this is what makes it work. We have 41 lines, so we maxed it out. So it's a pretty intense program.